Hey, what is up everybody? It's Timo here. In today's video, we're gonna go over the new hotfix that recently came out. We got a number of things fixed out. Before we get to that part though, I want to remind you only 30.2% of people who are watching my channel has subscribed. The rest didn't. Consider to press subscribe button and consider to come and hang out in our Discord. Pretty much we have a lot of people that joined. We almost added 1000 people and I think it's awesome. Anyway, let's go back in today's video. So pretty much we have a number of things that got fixed. One of which is um, the um, wizard got buffed and um, the magic protection could be um, found in dungeon. Frostfiren got buffed, I would say, because it seems like some of the attacks were not hitting players. Um, looks like the numerous holes in the environment through which rats could fall got fixed. And uh, I know I never thought it was much of an issue. I haven't really fall <laughs> even once through like a map or something, but I've seen that happen on videos, but I was just never that much interested to actually explore ways to exploit and, um, you know, fall through the map. It's not even exploit, it just, you just fall and die. <laughs> and I didn't want that to happen. Fix an issue where chest leads could become embedded in walls. Doesn't seem like much of an issue. The bookshelf got fixed. Um, party members' gear score could become unsynchronized. Okay, interesting. All right, fighter perfect blocked buffed. Now it's seven seconds. Shield slam buffed seven seconds. Shield slam can now be used while blocking. I think this is really sick idea, and uh, this was supposed to be implemented. Um, good thing that they did it. It's um, uh, it's actually sick. Rogue ambush got nerfed from fifty to twenty five. It's not a big deal. It's rogue gonna remain rogue. Double jump got buffed from 8 into 10. Okay, make it, remove it, remove the penalty. I want to see rogues double jumping across the map. I think it would be much better. Hide mastery change from 3 to 2.5. Doesn't matter at all. Jokester change for the, okay, well, this impact, this will impact duos or trios. Since I play solo, it doesn't matter at all to me. Stealth no longer reveals horrible change. The, the basically the landmine ambush rogue is back and I have no fucking idea what our mace is thinking this is a horrible change the, i i don't think it's right change i think it's bad like the game was great like the rogue was still strong it was all the changes and um yeah no i i absolutely don't like that they decide to bring it back chase range got buffed from 450 to 550 backstep has two charges bullshit it's gonna be used more often i don't like rangers i hate when rangers get buffed um also kind of hate when the rogues getting buffed because it just the class is already strong it doesn't need no buffs wizard got drastically buffed pretty much at each and every aspect like um and i don't know why fireball is basically gonna do more damage Magic Missile is going to do more damage. Mm, cleric Aura changed. Well, basically this one will impact um, like in duos and trios because 600 range is pretty huge. Bard, slightly ranges got buffed. Okay, Warlock, Blow of Corruption, damage changes from 10 to 12, got buffed. Life Drain Duration increased from 6 to 7 seconds. Base damage increased from 3 to 5. Now you can suck someone dry just, you know, Walk up to that person and life brain the f out of him. The attribute duration changed from seventy five to twenty five. Ah, so they buffed it, but they didn't buff it. Okay, well, never mind. Druid healing changed from four fifty to six hundred. Fucking none of this barely matters at all. Panther buffed. Druid buffed. Well, basically, Druid got buffed. Arming sword slightly increased. Great. I mean, I haven't seen any arming swords in a while, I'm gonna be honest, at all. Magic reflection time change from 3 to 8 seconds. Sure. Castilian dagger. Mm, multiplier changed. So... The Castilian dagger, so they decide to nerf Castilian dagger? I don't know why. Stiletto, and they decide to buff Stiletto? Man, what the fuck? Why would you buff Castilian, a weapon that never been used by anyone at all? 
And I mean, why do you decide to nerf Castilian and buff Stiletto? It doesn't make sense to me. Stiletto third hit was already doing a stupid amount of damage. Now it does slightly more stupid amount of damage. Improve the animation of shields and the crystal sword. So you're saying the crystal sword didn't have an animation that was good enough? Are you fucking serious? One of the best animations game stub into um, slash, you know, that comes from up to down and basically that's oh well um uh, but with movement speed penalty changed wow great change now people <laughs> is gonna use pavis more often i think it's gonna be kind of funny make it 20 so that people will literally uh become a turtle shell they'll just you know hide behind <laughs> pavis uh, that would actually be kind of hilarious all shields shield slam animations play slightly faster so they're trying to make shield slam more effective and we might actually give it a try once the the patch gonna be out rapier has been changed to be slightly tighter okay rapier's collision sockets have been changed to be slightly tighter so uh, I, I guess i guess i know why maybe you you gotta aim like oh well, i mean I understand it, but I also don't understand it. It's like, it's a buff and a nerf at the same time. Healing potion of all rarities have their healing amount increased from 15 to 20. Huge change. Bandage healing change from 12, okay. I don't want to read that, it doesn't matter anyway. Basically, the healing got changed and uh, that's going to impact every single person so that you get to see it yourself. The um, rarities has bandage usage time for all rarities changed from 5.5 to 4 seconds. Holy cow! So you're saying, wait a second, now that I think of it, the rare quality or epic quality bandages are gonna heal up all the way for 45 health, which is drastic, which is huge. And then also you get to heal up super fast, so you just stand away from a fight for like 8 seconds, and then you're full HP, pretty much. Wow, now that's sick. 37 health, I would assume that's the rare. Like, um... Damn. That is a lot of health, my friend. That is... That's like... Why would they nearly double? Well, not double, but, you know. The very drastic change. What the point of it? I don't know. Surgical kit, the usage time has changed. What? What the fuck are those changes? 27 to 15, 10 to 3? You mean an end? So you will be able to use surgical kit at an instant? You just pop it out, boom. You know, you go in, you trade a couple of hits, you walk behind somewhere, you instantly pop it down, you get back to full HP in a quarter of a fucking second, and that's it? You're full HP? What is this bullshit? Damn. Holy cow. Campfire install time for all rarities changed. So they buffed campfires. I don't know what are these changes with bandages and healing, like, this is not right. This is gonna shift meta very hard toward classes that dish out a lot of damage and doesn't have much health. Basically, rogues, rangers, this is gonna benefit, like, you know, um, squishy classes a lot more. Holy cow, that's insane. So, I mean, I don't, wow, that's, that's ridiculous. Like, this change from 10 seconds to 3 seconds is fucking stupid what are they thinking from 10 seconds to three seconds are you fucking serious wow holy cow bro addition of a new event currencies okay sure improve the feel of moving equipping items and inventory oh well i mean sure the high roller have different like has some form of restrictions right now and basically right now you gotta go in with 225 gear score um which is good i guess because i have seen way too many naked players in high roller and that fucking suck but now it's gonna make it slightly harder for you to grind uh, um high roller especially if you're trying to get the demigod i feel like but maybe because of this change there wouldn't be any players at all <laughs> maybe light player skills will no longer take an extended time to loot initially great I don't play duos, so it doesn't matter to me. The time it takes to interact with enemy corpse not killed by you or your ally change from 7 seconds to 12 seconds. Wow, huge. Why? Like, that is a ridiculous amount of time. Some quality of life, some quality of life improvements when accessing the squire. 
improvements to multiple visual and sound effect and audio box. I mean, always good to have those, especially if they make any impacts. In-game quests now updates dynamically while well in the dungeon. And also we got new skins, emotes and cosmetic rewards. Great, well pretty much... What can I say? I don't even know what Iron Mace is thinking. That's some weird ass changes. Like, uh, it's for the first time I'm not gonna be like overly positive because I don't understand the point. Extremely buffed epic quality surgical kit from 10 to 3 seconds. So, it, do you know how crazy it sounds? But could you imagine how crazy it's gonna be on practice? No, I think it's gonna be ridiculous. Stiletto buff rogue. With all these changes, I don't know, like, why? Why would you want to do this to Rogue? Like, the, the most cancerous meta in the game is back. And we're gonna go and abuse it, actually, like, at some point. Oh, man, I don't even know what Iron Mace is thinking. Listen, with all due respect, I love the developers and I love the changes that they do. But sometimes some of those changes are just not on point. Like, I feel like, you know, like, the developers are just hanging out with, like, a group of homies. They just meet up. They like, you know, smoke a joint and um, they be like, oh, hey, how about we implement those changes? Ah, sure. Yeah, let's do it. So like, what about like testing service or what about, you know, trying to figure out if it's going to impact the game in a good or bad way? Nah, let's we'll just, we'll just put it out. We'll, we'll sort it out later. You know, this is what it kind of feels like. <laughs> but listen, at the end of the day, it's fine. New changes. Great. Like, but I, I really hope, to, you know, I, I really kind of <laughs> uh, wish to think that's how the, our developers are, you know, making um, changes for the game. Because I don't understand what are these drastic changes and what is even the point? Like, like what is legit the point of all of this? I don't know, bro. I have no idea. From 10 to 3, really? Like, it's... The change right here is so absurd because the maximum time is now lower than it's ridiculous. It's actually more than double, more than double. This is insane change. It's like I don't understand why. You basically lose the fight, you close the door, you use surgical hit, you already you are winning the fight. You know, you see that? You see what I'm saying here? You get behind the door, if you're someone is chasing you, you close it up, you pop out a fucking purple surgical kit out of your ass, you instantly heal up, and now you have full HP. <laughs> and now you're the one who is chasing because you're gonna be the one who is winning the fight, you know what I mean? Nah, that's crazy, man. Some of these changes are crazy. And um, no, I think we're just gonna roll with it, we're gonna see how well it is. Alright, let's read developer comments. The new update brings several improvements, including optimization to game performance. We also upgraded inventory to make it feel snappier. I like that. I like the sound of it. We have added some restriction to the Hyrule dungeon to address the current Hyrule meta of solo rat crawl play. Understandable. We will experiment with the minimum gear score. We also have added restrictions. And um, with the addition of these restrictions, the end has been removed for the Hyrule dungeon. We plan to adjust the settings based on data and feedback. In addition, we have made it so looting corpse killed by an ally no longer takes an extended time to loot. We thank you for our patience and we continue to improve the game. Great. All right, so now that we mentioned all the patch notes, all the changes, let's go play on a warlock on the, that I've pre-cooked. And basically, we're just going to go and slap some cheeks on the demon warlock. Anyway, stay tuned and let's hop into it. Hey, what is up everybody? It's Timo here. In today's video, we're going to be playing on a class, which is combination of a rogue and a barb and a fighter and wizard. And pretty much in today's video, this is the class that we're going to be playing on. Before we get to the video, though, I want to remind you, only 30.1% of people who are watching my channel have subscribed. The rest didn't. Consider to press the subscribe button and consider to join our Discord server that we recently have made. We almost have 1,000 people on the road to 1,000. So that's actually going to be pretty cool to achieve that um, milestone. But anyway, let's hop back into today's video. You might ask me, what is the class that could combine the speed of a rogue, the power of a barb? Well, that's my friend, is the warlock. So pretty much, if you use the blood pack, you will end up with more health than barbarian will ever have. 
you will be able to hit harder than barbarian will ever will you will be part withered and you will be faster than a rogue that's my friend is warlock oh yeah by the way don't forget about physical damage reduction barbarian can get as much physical damage reduction as warlock can so that's basically what you're going to be playing on to top it all off not only you're going to be fast casting abilities and um be able to stab people the same way a rogue can also you will be able to regenerate every time you hit a mob especially if you turn into blood pact oh boy the blood pact has a really awesome ability that will let you heal up based on the max amount of hp that the target you're hitting has which is incredible in fact because in four hits most of the time you will be able to get to full hp just like that very strong tool especially when it comes to pvp anyway for the build this is what we're going to be playing with um my perks and skills dark reflection soul collector anti-magic shadow touch demon form blood pact spell memory because we're kind of withered you know what i mean also well a little reminder soul collector will directly benefit your blood pact and also soul collector will benefit your dark reflection if you turn into the blood pact you will get five souls and then once you turn into a demon you're still gonna have those five souls and if you get hit then well they're gonna be eaten by the dark reflection which technically will you know give you a buff both to dark reflection and blood pack pretty good uh pretty good way to play the game anyway basically in today's video like i already mentioned we're playing on a warlock and i think this is one of the best solo classes it's been the best solo class for a whole year straight but the blood pact is kind of slept on not that many people are playing with it and i kind of want to change it i think the blood pact is extremely underrated and it's a really good way to play on a warlock anyway let's hop in the game and let's go clap some cheeks unfortunately we don't have goblin cave so we gotta wait it out a little bit before we got into the game no 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 relax brother if if i fight you you will die like just go away Just go away. Like, can you hear me? Hello? Just go the fuck away from here. Just go opposite direction. Alright, I think problem solved. I didn't want to kill him. There's no point. He probably got the little bit of adrenaline rush and he decided to run me down. <laughs> or at least try to, you know what I mean. Okay, I want to kill that guy right there. Let's try to put some effort into it. I gotta not get hit by a fucking bat. Because I have five stacks. Alright. We have a guy right here. Couple more hits. Oh no, no mind. He died in three. Okay. Am I safe here? Let's use the shrine really quick. Oh, okay. Oh shit. That's not the same guy, by the way. Hold on a minute. Oh, that's definitely not the same fighter, by the way. I'm not sure how geared the homie is. Is he really geared? It does seem like he have fucking salad on his head. But we do gotta be cautious. Okay, that's one tag. Oh shit. Listen, you know what? I'm down to fight. One, two, three, four. Holy fuck, wait a second, hold on a minute. That did way too much damage. Yo, no, he must be very geared. Alright, let's just pop a really quick surgical. God damn, Blake. I didn't expect that would hit me so hard, bro. <laughs> I almost died there, by the way. Sheesh. He must have 
he must bring really good gear, I feel like. There's just no other way. We're almost there, though. But, um, yeah, not gonna lie, it was fucking terrifying. <laughs> Holy cow. Oh, looks like the homie is still here. Alright, well, let's go him a little. Oh, yeah, he's not feeling it. He's definitely not feeling it. I want to have all that most bits, so I'm gonna put it aside. This one. You got hit twice by a mob. Got tapped again. And again. And again. GG. Well, that was a lot easier than try to kill him with uh, a demon form. But that's what my build is all about. I get to turn a demon if I'd like to. Or I get to be a caster. So you know what I mean. You just gotta make sure you land those hits. Simple as that. Oh shit, dog. He's fucking geared. Legendary bar dish. Hell yeah, brother. That's multiple thousand of golds. The thing is, like, just purple items as is, they don't really cost too much. It's the stats that are important. So when I say, like, some items are very expensive, it's likely they have good stats. And sometimes I kill someone le who has uh, just legendary items and they barely cost fucking anything because they're horrible. And sometimes blue items cost, like, fucking multiple and multiple thousands of gold. I'm gonna use the demon form here just in case. It's like I use it just in case if there is a rogue because you get all the HP back. And also, since with this build you get to have your HP recovered, you might as well just use um hit drum and um recover your health really quick, you know what I mean? I think this guy was also geared, so we're just gonna put on some of the stuff he has. Damn, bro. I want all of your stuff, you know what I mean? Okay. Looks like a homie killed another guy. Let's go commit to a fight. No, Demo, chill, bro. You can have it all, bro. It's a chill. Bro, what the fuck are you talking about? I swear, I have you can Why? He could simply run away. Why the fuck does he act like that? Like, what? You can kill me? Bet? You have a fucking cape on. You're barb with bird dish. You can get to break every fucking door on your path. That's some biggest pile of fucking bullshit. You should never give up. Like, what the fuck? Put your best effort to not die. That's fucking crazy, dog. This guy is very geared, though. But I'm gonna be honest. I genuinely hate when people just like, oh, you know, I have nothing. You can kill me. Why the fuck are you even playing the game, dog? Put your best effort, you know, and up until the very end point. Alright, we have way too much stuff. Let's get the fuck out of here. Oh, shit, brother. We have two juicers here in the lobby. Hell yeah. I'm very invested to kill this fighter. He's looking pretty sick. Got that wheel stack. Also looks like he has extra dexterity. Extra action, extra move speed. Yeah, this must be really expensive. Looking pretty good. Alright, looks like we're on to someone. Door is open. Fence is broken. We're trying to get on track and find someone. I think I already see the person. Yeah, I do. Oh shit, that's the homie, by the way. Let's do a little course. Maybe another one. Nope. Okay, now I'm ready for some beef. <laughs> Oh, he messed up a little. Three hits down. Probably three more, because he was kind of tanky. Alright, gotta get on that elevator. Okay. Probably two more hits. GG, brother. Last hit was a headshot somehow. It was not intentional. Alright, let's see what the homie has. This is a good fighter, but that's not the fighter I want to kill. This homie is the... Um, Short sword, arming sword guy, I believe. Oh no, almost, almost. Yeah, he's also geared. He has like a blue bis. Alright. 
doesn't have any pots unfortunately but uh, his rings are decent probably like 3000 kit more or less let's go and try and find that crystal sword fighter this gear cell though is actually quite decent but it's not enough for one game you know what i mean okay so um, where could i find the crystal sword guy though let's go check middle right after we check the right spot I don't hear any sounds here, and the mobs are still intact. It's like we're kind of safe here. But it probably means that um, that homie ain't nowhere to be seen. <laughs> Hello. Hmm, door is open here. Someone may have been here. Probably not. Damn, where is the homie is at? Oh well. Oh shit, here we go. That's the homie. Alright, I think that's gonna be one tap. Yep, here we go. We gotta keep him cursed a little. And we gotta keep chasing, we can't let him get away. He is the only juicer and the juicer has some cheese. Alright, he went... I thought he went down for a second, he didn't. Okay, that was uh, arm shot. Not bad. We gotta keep track and also we gotta make sure we use the potion just in case in case if we decide to use demon form the homie is not interested in fighting us at all like completely we may as well be able to actually get him here somewhere oh he decided he's stepping in trap oh shit brother wait he's still trapped no he's not oh man Listen, you fucking ranger, could you fuck off? Mm, sorry. Yeah, no, I legit don't like rangers. I mean, you cannot like rangers. There's nothing creative about rangers at all. Just sit at a fucking distance. Ah, uh, I should have aimed a little lower. Did I hit him even once here? I don't think I did. It looked like I did, but I don't think I did, actually. We will be able to get him off guard here, because there is not the many places he could go. Here we go. Alright, that's the dead end. Let's demon form right here. He's probably gonna run away. People are scared of demon form. Oh, we were able to fit in. Okay, not bad. Free kill. The homie just didn't want to fight. He kept running for me. GG. We gotta see what the homie has. I think that's the guy that I inspect in a pre-log. Alright, right after we kill this guy. Yeah, I think we're all good. Alright, we're almost back at full house. Just a couple bandages. Here we go, let's see what their homeboy has. We're kind of good in loot, but uh, you never know. <laughs> we, oh shit, brother. Those are... Oh, damn. Alright. Yeah, no, it's going to be a problem here. There's going to be way too much loot. <laughs> Fucking hell. Mm, he has a crystal sword, so I will be able to equip that. Nope. <laughs> I thought for a second I had a crystal sword in my inventory. Boots, five move speed. Kind of want to have those. All right, you know what? I don't think we're gonna come across anyone. Let's just go extract. We're full on loot anyway, so let's just get out. Oh, what the hell? Alright, unfortunately it's getting kinda late and there is less and less players in the lobbies. There is only one player in particular in this lobby who I was interested in and pretty much we're trying to find him. Alright, looks like the homie is in the middle. Hell yeah, I'm down to take this fight. Alright, I guess the homie is not that interested. <laughs> it's okay, let's see. He's probably gonna try and shoot me here. Doors close to left. Oh, okay. 
Ah, oh, bro, I thought I would be able to squeeze him. It's okay, I'm just gonna pop a potion. Alright. There is no traps here. Let's see what the homie is doing. He went right. He using his blue potion. That's kind of good for us. Let's see. He used the blue potion, but he decided to back away. We don't need to get our HP back, so... Yep, he's gonna recommit. And we're gonna use it again. Yeah, fuck it, let's go for it. Couple more hits, I would assume. Oh. God damn, that fucking skeleton. <laughs> oh well. The skeleton is the MVP of the match. Let's see what the homie has. I do believe this homie was kinda geared, so... Yeah, that's the geared one. Alright, well, we did the plan minimum <laughs> for this game. I'll try to find somebody else, but uh, I don't think there is legit anyone else. Oh shit, I was wrong. There is this homie. He have a um, copper layer boots, but he doesn't have a cloak, and I'm not that interested in killing people with, without cloaks. Alright, you know what? The homie is very fucking invested. So yeah, fuck. Oh shit, actually, that hurts a lot. Alright, man. I didn't want to do it, trust me I didn't, but the homie was very committed to the fight. What could I do? <laughs> this wizard was crouching early on, like, he kinda be like he's friendly, but I'm not 100% certain, and I don't really want to trust withers, so I'm just gonna stay away, but um, yeah, no, the homie was like, just not interested in fighting me. Fuck it. I don't want to fight with that either. <laughs> we pretty much possess even amount of threat to each other. So that's why probably not a bad idea to not bother at all. Yeah, I think this wizard is friendly guy. <laughs> He's just tossing coins. I feel like if you want to use that emote, you gotta bring some gold with you so that you would actually be throwing coins. I think that would be kind of funny. <laughs> Alright, fuck it, let's just use extract. And let's go into the next game. Alright. Looks like we have someone here. Druid. And the barb. I tried to use this streamer mod. I'm not sure if it's gonna work. Yeah, let's fight with the barb. I wonder if he's healthy or not. Let's go this way. Alright, let's go. One, two, three. Fuck. Kinda of full HP though. Okay, not bad. Let's have a druid. Oh shit, this only got some moves. Alright. Let's heal up. It's not letting me reset, the homie knows. The homie knows what he is doing here. Alright. Oh, there is a ranger, by the way. Oh shit, I'm getting shot. Oh shit, what the hell is Holmes doing? Oh fuck, I think I fucked up here. Damn, that ranger came out of nowhere. Let's try and reset and try and fight again a little later. I'm interested to fight druids, I need some practice. Oh fuck me. <laughs> this is not good. The ranger is sitting in the room to the right, the druid to the left, so... Fuck it, let's just go fight druid. Ow. This homie is a gamer, haha. <laughs> He has good gear, by the way, so we're gonna hear uneven. He's running toward the ranger. Okay. Is he trying to bait me? Why does he fucking have a torch? Alright, let's see what the stuff this homie has. This whole gear set was looted. 
Oh well, understandable. I would assume Druid has him. And he, okay, so maybe Druid will start fight with the Ranger. Let's see. Wait, there's two people chilling by. Doesn't seem like they're fighting, are they? The homie is removing traps. What the hell is going on? Yo, they're just chilling there together. Oh, wow. I will be able to heal off of the bear, I think. Oh, shit. <laughs> I think I fucked up a little. Let's see what they're up to. Okay. Oh. So the druid and the ranger are teamers. Oh well. That's sick. <laughs> I was wondering what is going on. The homie took the gear set from the bar. I want to see his nicknames. Shorty Shot. Fucking Teamer. And the Fury Samson. Alright. Great. <laughs> Good way to end the episode. I'll, I'll, I want to DM and see what he's going to say me back. Is he going to say, oh no, we're not teaming? <laughs> Let's see. Yo, I'm going to give you your kit back. No, I'm not going to take it. I don't take anything from teamers. <laughs> That's just whatever. GG. So it looks like they are worth teaming. And um, what can I do? I mean, it's part of the game. Dealing with teamers is my basically 9 to 5 job. <laughs> anyway, it's okay. It's not that deep. The homie told me he's going to give me gear set back. I did not take it. I don't want to take anything from teamers. Basically, if you're teaming and um, to gain advantage over PvP, I'm not going to show any form of respect and um, I don't support that kind of behavior. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed today's video. It's Timo. Even though we've died, we still end up making stupid amount of profit. So at the end of the day, it's not that deep. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed today's video and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.